we're gonna see about the shortest war recorded in history. This conflict was lasted only for 38 minutes. What? Are you joking? Nope. I'm telling the history dude. Okay let's move on to the topic. This time I will narrate the story to you. This war was claimed as Anglos and Zibir War which was fought between the Great Britain and the Zanzibar Sultanate on the 27th of August 1896. One at that time, the Britain people tried to conquer every place in the world. Whatever country they stepped in, they fought with that country and ruled it. On their path on conquering the world, on 1896 their focus diverted on the Zanzibar Sultanate. The great people took their reinforcement, and, Sir Harry Rawson, who was leading them, started their crusade towards Zanzibar Sultanate. This Zanzibar is an island, which is located at the south. Arabian state of Muscat and Oman. The king of the sultans was Sultan Khalid bin Bargash, who was ruling them for the past one year. When he heard about the crusade of the Great Britain, he called upon all his commanders and ministers for a meeting. The British sent an ultimatum to Khalid demanding that he order his forces to stand down and leave the palace. In response, Khalid called up his palace guard and barricaded himself inside the palace. At that time the British soldiers landed on the Sultan Empire with the strength of 1052, declare war. Though the Sultans had more soldiers than the British, they got frightened by the formation of the Britain. So some of the commanders spoke among them, and made a misterplan. The very next day, war was declared between them, and both the sides started fighting with full force. Suddenly, the Sultans reported that their King Khalid was defeated. What? Yes the commander's plan was to kill their own king, in order to survive from the Great Britain. So one of the commanders killed Khalid. The Zanzibar king was betrayed by his own people. Since the Sultan King was defeated, the war was ended, and the Britain spared remaining people life. Thus the British people won, and continued their path of conquering. The British also chose a Sultan to be the King of Zanzibar, and made to rule under their power. Finally they returned with victory and this catastrophe caused 500 casualties. All was done within 38 minutes.